Depending on the nature of the embryo of the seed of a plant, it can be classified as monocotyledonous or dicotyledonous. Two cotyledons imply a dicot plant such as the sunflower. Let's take a look at the anatomy of a dicot root. This topic explains the internal structure of a dicot root. Let us observe a sunflower plant which is a dicot plant. It is a herbaceous plant with a green slender stem. The leaves show a reticulate venation. If we look at its root, it appears branched. On taking the transverse section of the root, several tissues can be seen. Let us study each tissue one by one. The outermost layer is the epiblema, which consists of thin-walled, compactly arranged cells. There is no cuticle on the epiblema. A few cells of this layer protrude as the outgrowth called the root hair. Epiblema is thus absorptive and protective in function. The next layer is the cortex. The cortex is composed of large, thin-walled, spherical or oval parenchyma cells. Large intercellular spaces are present which help in the diffusion of water in the cortical cell. The endodermis consists of barrel-shaped compact cells that have thick deposition of suberin over them, which is characteristic of endodermal cells and is known as the Casparian strip. Next is the single layer of the pericycle, which is made up of the thin-walled parenchyma cells. Embedded in the parenchyma cells of the ground tissue are the vascular bundles consisting of the xylem and the phloem. The xylem and the phloem lie at different radii. The xylem has two sections. The protoxylem is towards the periphery and the metaxylem occupies the inner position. This arrangement is known as exarch. The xylem and the phloem are separated from each other by a few parenchyma cells called conjunctive tissue, which is a part of the ground tissue. To summarize, a sunflower plant is a dicot and herbaceous plant. Its roots are branched with an outer layer, epiblema, and no cuticle. The next layer is the endodermis and the pericycle. The xylem and the phloem lie inside. They are surrounded by the ground tissue. The ground tissue between the xylem and phloem is the conjunctive tissue. You've studied the dicot root and its many layers. What do you think a monocot root looks like? To find out, stay tuned and...